Hey everyone, welcome to Solar Breakdown. I'm Paul G, and we are going to be covering net metering. Net metering is a program offered through the utility company that essentially allows someone to go solar without needing a battery. Sounds good, right? Not necessarily. One, not every utility company offers net metering, and two, there are actually a few downsides to the net metering program, which we'll explain here, and I'll go over why I believe every solar system should come with a battery. Let's go over the fundamentals of how solar works first. To cover how solar works, we will assume we have a home with a solar system set up and ready to produce energy. Sunlight will come down and hit those solar panels and be turned into DC energy. Now, homes don't run on DC energy, so all of that is going to be funneled into an inverter and converted into usable AC energy for the home. All the energy produced in the daytime is sent back to the utility grid. This is where net metering comes into play. Net metering is a one-to-one -one exchange ratio with the power company. Now, let's quickly touch on what a kilowatt hour is. A kilowatt hour is a unit of energy used to measure how much one consumes in their household and what one produces from their solar system. So for every kilowatt hour worth of energy the solar system produces, the utility company will supply them with a kilowatt hour worth of credit that they can use any time. So essentially, the utility company is like a free battery pack. To keep things simple, let's say 10 kilowatt hours worth of credits were produced during the daytime, but only five kilowatt hours were used. Well, what happens to the remaining five kilowatt hours? If they were not used that day, those credits can roll over to the following day. If they weren't used that week, they could roll over to the following week. And if they weren't used that month, they can roll over to the month after that. These credits can roll over day to day, week to week, month to month. Pretty amazing, right? Well, here's the catch. Majority of power companies do something called a true up where they take all the credits that have been built up and they just wipe them to zero. <laughs> uh not so nice right that's downside number one downside number two if the power goes out the power goes out because net metering relies on power to be sent to the grid in order to store the energy there's a fail safe in every solar system to shut off connection to the grid during a power outage because if energy was being pushed to the grid and somebody was trying to repair those electrical lines they can get zapped so a homeowner with net metering and no battery will lose power during a power outage just like the rest of the neighborhood. Downside number three, net metering can go away. I've seen utility companies take away net metering programs before and this is why I recommend every solar system to be installed with a battery. Now we'll go over the benefits of a battery system in future videos. If you're craving more knowledge in the meantime, visit powerhome.com. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on Solar Breakdown.